there's a film right on the edge of the beginning of the Disney revival that's curious. Curious in that I never hear anyone talking about it. It's an extremely solid film, executed well with a lesson that wouldn't be out of place today. Bolt. Yes, it's technically in the same era as Chicken Little, the experimental era that I like to refer to as the disappointment era, and I can see why the critics might not talk about it so much. The 3D animation isn't terribly striking, it doesn't really feel like a Disney film, and it kind of blends into the background with many other mediocre 3D animated films that were released at the same time. Stuff like Madagascar 2, Open Season 2, Horton Hears a Who, yeah, 2008 wasn't a great time for 3D animated movies. But Bolt is actually a pretty good movie. In a way, it sort of reminds me of the first Toy Story, in that Bolt is a dog who believes he has superpowers and has to eventually deal with reality, but Toy Story took that story in a different direction. Bolt's reality is that he's a dog, although he's more than that. Listen to this. If the dog believes it, the audience believes it. Bolt is, in one sentence, equated to the audience. Now, if you take the movie just as it is, you might find some enjoyment, but it's far more interesting if you see Bolt as an audience surrogate. Bear with me. We live in a time where there's no shortage of media. Everyone and their cousin can produce and sell fictional works of all sorts across the entire planet with the click of a button. We are saturated in movies, video games, anime, Netflix originals, and so many other stories and worlds of fiction. And because these stories bring us joy, we discuss them, we mimic them, we buy toys and games for our children, and we try to take a step into the story's world. And even if the story creators are forced to make strange decisions for the sake of making a profit, taking things in directions you don't agree with, it can still hold a place in your heart, and you might still end up going with it, because that story means something to you. But what Bolt says is that the meaning can't just be found, but made in your own world. Here's a question, what is it that made the fictional Bolt TV show in this movie work? In spite of what the director might say, Bolt believing that he has superpowers is not important. Method acting is frequently praised, and yeah, it's produced some pretty good performances, but it's just a tool. Method acting in a terrible movie still leaves you with a terrible movie. No, what made the Bolt TV show work was that Bolt truly had a streak of heroism and bravery and that Penny truly loved Bolt, and you can see that heart behind all the mindless action. When you strip it all down and take away the superpowers, the villain, the plot itself, Bolt was still as heroic and brave as ever, willing to risk everything to save a friend. And Penny still loved Bolt, no matter what the studio told her to do. This is the stuff that draws fans, but more importantly, it's what drives Bolt to save Mittens and rush into a burning building, it's what lets Mitten have the courage to try family again, it's what let Penny accept Bolt back and take in Mittens as well, and it's what inspired Rhino to be the best he can be, despite being just a hamster. Supervillains? Superpowers? Plot? Character? There are so many of them, so much to get invested in, so many hours spent on things that aren't real. It's good to sit back every once in a while and realize that what we find meaning in exists in the real world, and we can find it in ourselves if we but try. And that's important, because no matter how much heart is in those story, media is a business. With all these sequels and remakes and plays on nostalgia, some are just obvious in their intent. Others may take a while to realize, and others still aren't at that point. That is, they're still good. Whatever the case, the point is to make money. To milk a series as long as possible, even at the cost of long-term gain, so long as it makes money now. This work doesn't make anyone involved with it proud, it doesn't make anything that lasts. And when the time comes to end it, and they make a decision to keep it going just to make money off of it, the fans can see that. So it is important, as fans, to make it real. Not the story, though some try, but the heroism, the heart, the resolve, the lessons, the bravery, the kindness, the will to make the impossible possible. It's not just a story. These things are real, and with the inspiration that heroes give us, we can have them. All it takes is that we try.